here. I'm now trying to do a video on the most intriguing book that I own. I suffered a stroke and a loss of eyesight. That's why I'm struggling to find words sometime. Uh, two years ago and uh, I was gifted this on my 50th birthday. <clears throat> it's about gin and due to my bad eyesight that uh, even when I take a looking glass, um, what is it called, magnifier glass, I can't truly see what I'm doing and this book is written in 65 but it's a new edition. I don't know if you can see Maximilian de Lafayette and he was apparently a author in the 60s from France and he's got this this great tome about how to work with gin and afarit let's see where I did some parking here The Ulemas and Master Farid Tayara. And here I'm lodged, which I don't know what it is. Here are some. There is one chapter. So this is like a tome of things I don't know anything about. So I'm so curious. There must be, if it's reprinted, in 2015 and it's written in 1965 then there must be somebody out there who's been who knows what this book is all about is this like a Islamic or Jewish mixture book of uh, Islamic let's see where I put those Like here comes Rust of Arva, Spirit, Gin and Afarit. I can't see the text from where I'm sitting here without a magnifier and I need this phone to try to show you. And there comes the best uh, planetary hours and days and that's uh, so... I don't know if this is based on the Picatrix or something like that. Let's see where I come to the... I put some marks there. This is how you talk to Yin Safarit. And there are the difference protections and protocols and here comes the Sahirin language so Maybe it's like a, like the angelical languages for us, or maybe it's like the celestial or Malahim or something similar to it. So I'm so curious about this book, and here we have alphabet of the Farid and Yin. Some of these reminds me of Malahim and Celestial and Alphabet, but I'm not sure, so that's why I'm trying to take my time to show as much as I can. Since this is quite a mystery, I feel like Sherlock Holmes here, trying to figure out where this book came from.
And I guess this must be quite a cheap book since it's reprinted and uh, there are three, was it three or four books in one? So... Here are some planetary hours. No, this was the seance, say. And what you need. They used the yin to do it. And here is the alphabet. I don't know if you can see it. I went to the main library in Gothenburg and tried to see if somebody there could help me with this alphabet, but they don't have this kind of books, really. <laughs> and here are some different names as well. Let's see where the second mark is. Here's some of the I know many are into Solomonic magic and these are the jinn and I don't have the original Picatrix or Arbatels or any of my those books here in this apartment with me. I had to move when my mother was dying a couple of years ago, so they are in a storage. And since Covid struck, I can't get to them. And these are, since I can't, uh, I can't even see what it says, and I don't ever practice anything unless I know what I'm doing. So... And here comes more of these words. Sometimes I wonder if it's so simple that it could just be a Arabic or similar language I, since I don't speak them so that I don't even recognize them. Here are the lucky hours and all this that is familiar to me. Maybe Christopher Warnock would know. Let's see here. Here are some examples.